Hey guys and welcome to the V Inspired YouTube channel. My name is James Calder and I make YouTube videos, mostly with my mum, and I work as a real estate photographer. So last week you guys sent me some questions which were fantastic all about studying for exams and I'm pretty much going to do a little video all about that. I've been planning this video for a while because it's been a while since I was in school, but I'm here to say that you can do this. Was that better? Bit more enthusiastic on you can do this. You can do this. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mum. <laughs> Fun fact: the last time that I studied for an exam, Paul Potts won Britain's Got Talent. I also did a bit of research. The last time that you studied for an exam, Peter Andre was born. <laughs> okay, first question: What's the most stressed you've ever been about an exam? I can't remember the most stressed out, but all throughout school, I would go from very chilled to absolutely losing the plot in a very, very short space of time. Nowadays, I get talking to people and I ask for help, which is basically, if I need help, I will ask for help. I like to think that when a friend talks to me about feeling stressed out, you make them realize that they're not alone, you support them, you give them advice, the same kind of advice that you absolutely love to hear when you're feeling stressed out yourself. So I like to think that by talking to people that care for you, that they will do the same for you. Is there more to life than exams? Yes, but time is a one thing and something that I really believe in is setting short-term goals that are important to you. Once you've reached the target you can then start a new one. So I find using notes on my phone works really well. Um, I'll basically just delete things off my to-do list as I go along. The top one that I'm looking at right now on my to-do list is V Inspired Video. So the minute I finish this I'll edit it and then I'll start working on the next goal which as I'm saying that that's a lie. After this because it's such a nice day I'm probably gonna relax a bit which actually leads me on to my next question which is I'm trying to find it, about work-life balance. What tips would you give for exam stress overload? In brackets, feeling overwhelmed. Make your revision manageable, which I wrote down, but I realize it's not the best acronym to remember. But make sure that you're making time for social activities and breaks in between. You could learn 20 minutes of one section and then spend 10 minutes doing whatever you want. Whatever you like. What's that off? A really handy tip that I learned whilst doing this is you could put airplane mode on your phone and then you could set a timer so you could go 20 minutes and then revise as much as you can in that 20 minutes and obviously you can't get distracted now by Wi-Fi and social media and uh, the world. Once the 20 minutes is up you'll receive a very delightful tone which will say that you now have 10 minutes to do whatever you want. Our brains kind of work on routines as well, so if you were to get into the routine of 20 minutes hard revising, 10 minutes of relaxing, I think your brain would really like that routine over the exam period. Well, this is awkward because the heating just turned on in my house and now it's like a sauna in there when it's like 18 degrees outside. So I'm gonna answer the last question. Sat on the decking of my back garden. How can volunteering help? Over the years I've got this idea into my head that being anxious or being stressed out about something like exams means that you care and that it's a completely natural and okay thing to feel. A few years ago I volunteered with the Prince's Trust on one of their Young Enterprise courses. There was about 30 of us in the classroom and one by one we were all asked to talk about the time that we had faced a fear. Now, awkward situation, it just so happened to be that public speaking was by far my ultimate fear. But after hearing everybody's story about a time that they were at their most vulnerable, some people that were up there just trying to string their thoughts together just like I was about to, I realised that you don't have to be perfect. Not trying to be perfect is something that I think about every single day of my life. In fact, I do love my quotes and a few weeks ago I found this one. Once upon a time I wanted to be perfect. And then I realised I don't have to be. I don't think the dogs can hear me if I just talk a bit quieter. <laughs> okay, that's all the questions and answers that I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed the video, then go down below and give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of me on this channel, then please go down below and hit that subscribe button. And yeah, check out my channel where I make weekly video diaries. And I will see you guys again very soon. Bye, guys.